Hey everyone, this is Prince from DC Programmer. Welcome to the first video of this new year and really wish you guys a prosperous and career oriented new year. But in this video, I'm going to talk about tech that I'm planning to run, learn, relearn or revisit in 2022. Now the reason I want to, you know, learn, relearn, unlearn or revisit some of the tech is because I'm a self-taught developer. Mostly, I mean, I do have a college degree, but most of the time I have taught things myself and there's regions that some things are not perfect, some things are not right. And also in the tech industry, it's just booming, it's changing rapidly. So you have to learn new things to stay on the, you know, like on the top front. And there are a couple of things that have been updated. For example, like Python, last time I checked Zango, it was in 2.7 or something. Then I thought to update myself and it was in 3 and now it's in Django 4. So these are the things that, things that I'm trying to learn and I'm trying to make new videos about them and update my YouTube playlist on them. Now making a plan for the entire year was a little bit much. So I thought to divide my entire year into three parts so that I can plan accordingly and then check myself in these three, you know, parts. So my first part is going to be, you know, first three months, which will be January, February and March, because here I am kind of okay, kind of busy, so I can give more time. And the second part is the third to ninth month where I will, where I will be a bit caught up. So I won't have much time, but with all the framework set up in these three months, I think I'll be able to do much in that part too. And then the ninth to 12th month, I'm not, I don't think I will have much time there, but since there'll be a lot, lot of things been done in the first nine months itself. I'll be ready to do just a couple of videos or a couple of things in a week and I, st I think I should be good to go. But enough talk, let's see what are the things that I have curated, things that I'm going to do in this year. So well, welcome to my notion. This is something that I use to write. I mean, this has, this has everything for my personal notes. I use ClickUp too, which is mostly for work, but notion is for my personal note. And I'm actually going to release one more video where I'm going to show you how you can use different markdown based note taking apps. I mean, I use notion, but there are some issues here, which is why I'm thinking to change. Anyway, as you can see this space, we have taken to 2022 and just, as I just said, you know, I have the first quarter which is from january to march and in the first quarter i have planned to do a couple of things like json and mongodb well i know json obviously i know mongodb too but i'm going to you know like revisit this you know learn couple of things in mongodb and like batch batch based queries and more things like that i mean i'm going to learn more like mongodb and i'm going to make videos on mongodb itself not like mongoose or any client which connects and do stuff like that then there is XML that I'm going to, you know, like it, it, these things will just take an hour or two, but I just made a, a list here. Then we have graph database. I'm trying to spend some time with the graph technology in this year. So I will get started with new 4G or something like that. So I will try to do this in this month too. Then Redis concept. Redis is actually booming. I mean, I just watched a video the other day from fireship.io saying that you can use Redis as an entire database. But you know, Redis is not for that. It's more like an in-memory database so that there are some things which you want as fast as possible that you keep them in Redis and you get them from there. So anyway, we, I will talk about that too. And then databases. Now this is more like, you know, the techniques, like how databases was made, like the, the entire history of database. It should be more like, you know, a couple of blogs, most probably a book or some vlogs or some really good blogs. But anyway, I will try to understand you know, like databases and I think I have some details here too, uh, like replication, chatting, the different technology that have been spent in making tabular databases, then no SQL databases, like document based databases. Now we are having um, graph databases and stuff like that. And um, I will spend some time with socket programming. Cryptography is something that I've been trying to do for a long time. I think I plan to do this in 2021 too, but then I caught up with a couple of things. So I'm going to get started with basics of crypto cryptography, not in too deep. But I will try to learn the basics in the first three months. And if I can, then I'm going to extend it for the next part too. Then TypeScript is something that I'm going to do. All right, this is a crash course and then a GitHub blog or something like that. So this is something that I'm going to do. The reason is because like JavaScript is popular. It's amazing. But most of the time, the companies want to use TypeScript on any, you know, project. Because for the you know, like obvious reasons like type safety and uh, any easy use of classes, interfaces and stuff like that. So TypeScript is really necessary if you are good with JavaScript. And I mean, it's not like it's going to take too much time for me. Couple of hours, couple of hours recording the video, understanding the concepts. It's more like just a one day job. Next thing is this algorithm design techniques. I'm mean, going to, you know, spend more time with um, uh, DSA and algorithms in this year. The reason is because see, I, I actually started my develop per journey as a developer itself. So it's like, I did not spend too much time with DSA and algorithms. 
and all right there are actually two path to learning development you either go from zero to one or you go from one to zero i will explain that in the next video anyway but i'm going to spend more time with the some algorithm design techniques i also thought of uh, getting a couple of books which i will read and you, when i say i'm going to spend more times in algorithms i don't mean that i'm going to you know like spend time coding and stuff like that i'm going to try to learn more about that why these things came out how they are used by different companies in different scenarios and how they can actually give out a better output right and just as i said i'm going to spend more time with trees graphs and such um uh, data structures i will learn some of the hashing techniques and there is some c and c plus plus code actually i'm going to learn to see if we can actually if i can use c or c plus plus in projects at simple level like we know that c and c plus plus are very famous okay it's not that it's not that these are not good programming languages or not used they are used but the problem is that if you if i'm talking about node.js all right i can easily make a video node.js i can easily make a video explaining how to do a project with node.js or let's say python you know we can have simple terminal based projects with databases or you can have you know amazing web apps gui apps or anything as that but when it comes to c and c plus plus which most of the people learn in their college the problem is that they can't actually put them into a project right so i'm i'm actually trying to see if i can you know like first i can make videos on these programming languages which is easily understandable next if i can actually make some projects using these programming languages that actually people can relate to at their college level itself this was one problem that i had when in college like i would learn c i would learn basic stuff in c and everything like structures pointers and everything even though i'm good at it i won't even i won't have any like actual use of it right i did learn c++ and i and also put a video on c++ there where i spent some time and made a contact application using text files and stuff like that so we'll see if we can do more in that field or not then um there's a python repo i will try to you know like um refresh the python uh a playlist that i have so we can you know, learn more about python programming because there's so much more that i'm going to do in python in this year so i thought to start that by first refreshing my the python programming uh, playlist all right now like obviously i said why i want to add these skills so i can add new skills also it's fun to learn a couple of things it's not always but yeah most of the time it's fun for me to learn new things solve a problem better that's also important right you know if you're making the app in flutter then if you make the same same app in um, let's say jetpack compose you can solve a couple of problems better and then again get into depth get into depth of some of the technologies like like you know i just know how to make a website right but you get into depth of uh, understanding like uh, how the web servers actually work and stuff like that so that's something that i'm going to do revisit just as i just said i'm trying to relearn means the things that i already know but i want to learn about them again so that i can follow a better path of learning them unlearn means there are things that i know but since hey, i just as i said couple of years ago i watched youtube videos and i watched blogs and i learned from them now i have not followed a good path of learning them so i want to unlearn them so that i can relearn them right so anyway and uh, this is just a couple of notes that i put for myself i wanted to put this video out on 2nd of january but then i have to move back to my home because of covid and everything so it got late so like these are the programming languages that i'm trying to do typescript java because of some work like i have never coded in java honestly i've never coded in anything like java c sharp dot and stuff like that but i think this year i may have to get into java at least kotlin again for jetpack compose so i have to get better with kotlin programming language too i know that but i just haven't worked much in it c++ just as i said for the um you know project simple projects python just as i said because i want to refresh the entire playlist so that we can use this in other places too dot it's something that i'm going to make again because i made a crash course on dot but a lot of things are added to dot after that so something that i want to fix here is that i want to make another dot programming tutorial again with these new things then django again it was actually django 3 here but i think couple of i think one week ago i saw a blog saying django 4 is out and these are the new things that are added there so i thought okay it's going to be django 4 now so i will you know like refresh my playlist of django host api again a python web framework to make web apis it's actually amazing gaining a lot of popularity so i thought okay i will learn host api too Express JS is there, but I'm going to you know like either refresh the playlist or make a crash course or most probably make an entire course on creating web APIs using Express. Okay, like earlier I have videos on creating server-side rendering stuff like that and routes. These are not web routes. They don't give out JSON data. They render pages in HTML and stuff like that. So I don't want to do that this time. I may possibly do a REST API. Laravel, this is for sure. This would be out in this month itself. Uh, R R R REST API in Laravel, 
with token based authentication something like that fostify again a node.js based web framework for creating web apis again kind of it's not like express JS, but it's, it's been seen as an alternative or express JS so much next js is actually an amazing framework which supports typescript by default and a lot of companies use it because of so many things that it gives by default lock you know like so many batteries are included there but I may or may not check this because as you can see, there are already many web frameworks out right, uh, no, right here, right? So may or may not be, that's why I have three dots here that I may or may not check next JS, next JS, sorry. Then I'm going to, you know, spend more time with React. Most probably I will spend time with Material UI because last time I checked Material UI, it was some other version. Now there's Material 5, which by the way is amazing, but a lot of things have changed. So I have to spend some time getting better with material UI 5 and then Chakra UI is something that I want to check. I may also check Tailwind CSS but again not so many things at a time just a couple of things. MongoDB ready just as I said React Native, Zpack Compose, Flutter Web, Flutter Desktop and then again you know Flutter App Development. These are the things that I'm going to check in app development for sure. I mean this cross platform again this cross platform and this one is again cross platform. So it's actually amazing like okay you might say that Jetpack Compose is not cross plot cross platform and I know but uh, with KMM it could be. So these are the things that I'm going to check and if you have doubts like why am I learning react native and flutter at once couple of issues that we may discuss later again some basic uh, DSAs like trees and graph I'm already good with linked list data structure I'm good with uh, stacks I'm good with uh, basic arrays and stuff like that but this is something that I might have to check once again then this is the book that I'm going to I have actually bought this book and I just have to find time to read it from scratch these are the things that I'm going to learn again I have not included go rust and couple of things like dear pi neo 4j Cassandra right here because just as I said, I'm planning this for the first quarter itself and I think by March I will post another video saying what we have completed and what not. That's why these are just here and they will be included later on. There are some simple projects that I want to make either for YouTube or for myself. I mean, it's not like myself, either they will be, they will have an entire full video on YouTube or you will have like a log and the project will be open source on GitHub. So like, you know, like in Laravel, I have this project idea, which is in a course basically. The same I have for Fastify, I have for React.js and then for Django, I'm going to add them, you know, slowly. But yeah, I'm going to be, I'm having project ideas for all of these for Flutter, Jetpack, Compose, React Native and stuff like that. There are other libraries too, which I have not added. I mean, sometimes, you know, when I'm watching YouTube or I'm reading a blog, they just want, they say that, hey, this library is out there. This is amazing. And I want to check that out, but then I just forget it. So this, this is where I'm going to add everything. Like, for example, once I just saw that this Dendron is an amazing markdown note taking app in VS code itself. So I just noted it down here and I think uh, I checked it out. It isn't that amazing. So, but I have checked it out. It's okay. It's not that amazing and not what I expected it to be. But I'll talk about this later on markdown note taking apps and coming to books, uh, some books that I'm going to, that I'm going to really read. I mean, I'm going to buy them and then read them. Not like, you know, read on online because I do spend a lot of time watching the screens. So this is one that I'm going to read data intensive application. I'm trying my best to read this book this year. So this has so many things, you know, like creating scalable system, maintainable system, reliable system. This, this book actually has so many concepts that I don't even remember the concepts, but yeah, reading this is going to give me a lot of knowledge. I'm for sure about that. Next one is that CLR is introduction to algorithms. So again, this is not the kind of book that I read, write code and stuff like that. But yeah, if you read this, if you try to solve a couple of problems, then you're going to get a better understanding of why we have data structures, why the algorithms are there, the kind of the history behind it, how they have been used in different places and stuff like that. I actually plan to read at least three books. I know I can't do five. That will be too much. But the third book is something that I have not decided. It could either be about time management or being a more productive programmer or maybe about a microservices or something like that. So I will let you know the next time we do a review video about this. But yeah, as of now, this is what I have planned for this year. I'm going to keep adding this, you know, like when I'm going to post other videos too after three months possibly of what we have done how many of them i have posted on youtube how many of them have been converted into courses or what i have made into blogs or stuff like that so yeah in simple terms um expect so many courses videos logs and even live streams possibly this year and i hope i could do this and uh, by the end we are going to see what else what i have done and what i haven't done so that's pretty much it from my side in this video. This is Prince signing off. And if you guys are interested in learning other technologies, you can check out DC Programmer Pro where you're going to get uh, courses using which you can build out your product or you can easily get a job.